2601. Um, first item on the agenda is public comments, and let me just start by welcoming Nick Lasanis, our new commissioner. Welcome. Hi, Nick. Thank you. How are you? Good. How are you? I'm doing well. Good. Wonderful. Should we, do you know Your everybody? Name? Yeah, Richard well, let's Larico. go around and Richard. just introduce ourselves. Go ahead. Uh, Deb Pack, the Assistant Fire Chief. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. I met Joe before we started. And Excellent. Sean, Steph, the Fire Chief. And saw Steph this morning. Yeah, very good. Fantastic. He's warm and so he's legal. All right. Uh, any other public comments? Hearing none, I would entertain a motion to approve the August 19th meeting minutes that were in your packet. I'll make a motion. I'll second it. Any changes or discussion? Hearing none, all in favor? Aye. 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 Any opposed or abstentions? You abstain. You abstain. I abstain. <laughs> <laughs> <Okay. laughs> I guess I'm supposed to say it out loud. <laughs> <laughs> uh, okay, uh, motion passes. And the next item on the agenda is the Association Liaison Report. Uh, you could not make it tonight. Okay, you um, Chairman's Report. Do you want to do public comment? Yeah. What? What? Public comment. I did public comment. Oh, you did? I'm sorry. Yeah, did I miss anybody? <laughs> nope. Um, Chairman's Report, an update regarding the storage and training facility. Do you want to give us an update? Sure. So we're moving forward on it. We just got received the structural um, submittal from Connecticut Carpentry. It is at Michael Horton Engineering right now. To um, we should have gotten it back late last week. It hasn't come through yet. We have two calls into them, so hopefully in the next day or two we should have that back. Um, we'll sign off for any comments. We'll give it back to them, and once we give it back to them, uh, three weeks for production, and then a couple days to get it up in the air, and then they can start framing. So. So when did, what is your anticipated I think in, date? right now for the structural steel, I mean, we're already in the middle of um, something in probably mid to late October is going to be really a start date. And is there any restrictions with temperature, weather? No, okay. no, no, not this time. Right. Um, and then we have a bunch of submittals we handed back to them. They kick some of them back to us, so we're in the process of going back and forth with the other submittals. What are those? Um, all everything from lum lumber to windows to doors to gutters to roofing channels. <laughs> I said, did you get all that? Uh, no. No. General construction. General construction. I'm trying. I'm sorry. That's okay. I can't write that fast. Oh, do <laughs> <laughs> Anybody have any questions for Sean about the storage um, and training facility? Yeah, October, mid October um, start date still looked good for the end of the year completion date? Right now it does, as long as nothing major happens with Connecticut uh, carpentry. The biggest thing is right now the steel. The wood will go pretty quick. The wood is all in stock, ready to go. It's just in the framing of it. It's a pretty simple garage, so. Nothing's really that complicated, it's just more the steel that's taking the time. Thank you. Anybody else? Okay. Um, the next item is discussion and proposed resolution regarding dispatch committee training, and that's going to be a vote that we take after our executive session. Um, item number six is review of the current financial statements. He could do the financials. Are you sure? Yeah. Okay. AJ, I'll let me know if I need to. Why don't you do that okay. first? Yeah. <laughs> could I just have a quick motion to um, suspend the agenda to allow the assistant chief's report? I'll make a motion. Okay. Um, that's number eight on the agenda. We're going to move up. Do I have a second? Oh, second. Any discussion? All in favor? Aye. 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 
Aye. <laughs> Motion Great. passes unanimously. You stand on that one. No, no. You're no. here. You can vote on that. We've heard the whole discussion. <laughs> All, right, All right. So for the August report, um, you should have it in front of you. We had seven fires. Um, we had 21 hazardous condition, no fire calls, three service calls, nine good intent, 18 false alarms, five associated with severe weather for a total of 63 calls, and I did five car seats in the month of August. Um, you see the hours up above. We're um, running slightly less than the average, but it's pretty close. And of those calls, I know it's always interesting, uh, we did have a large number of calls on the 3rd, almost 30 calls that day when that storm rolled through, so that was a lot of the uh, hazardous condition, no fire, were power lines that were down, we had a couple that were on fire, um, so that was what was running those numbers, why it was seemed a little high, because we had a lot of power lines that came down, did not trip the breakers, so they were actually burning the ground um, during those, that event. And we had about nine motor vehicle accidents. We had a couple of responses um, up to the parkway last month also. I have a quick question. You said we could see the hours up above. What do you mean by that? Oh, I'm sorry. I'm, I'm on the report. <coughs> oh, okay. So, yeah. Oh, this um, is the, just, that's, that's yeah. the one I... Yep. Yeah. So oh, on my report, I have okay. a, an hours report. Um, oh, okay. Our hours are running about, about where we average for the year. We're running about average number of calls. Okay. Um, good intent could be anything from somebody called and said um, they thought they saw something. We were dispatched and we went out. So somebody saw smoke in the area. We get out there. We don't see any smoke. Um, we had uh, somebody called and, uh, like an iPhone 911 automatic dials and says there's a car accident. Um, PD may have been tied up. So they send us right away because they, they're not going to have anybody that, that can go see. We get out to that area. We look around and there's no accident. You know, uh, we had one the other night up on the parkway. Uh, it was right at the beginning of the construction zone. Um, so the assuming is that they probably came into the construction zone, hit the brakes to avoid, you know, the slow traffic. Phone flies off the seat, hits the dash, is laying down on the floor. You can't hit the button that says, no, I wasn't involved in an accident. So it auto, auto dials 911. Oh, that's a new iPhone That's feature. a new iPhone feature. The PD is starting to see a lot of those. Usually they go and check them out them themselves, mm -hmm. um, and if there's something there, then they'll call for the medic and us mm -hmm. if they need us, or if they get there and they can't find anything, then they clear them with, as unfounded. But sometimes we get dispatched, like we were up on the parkway the mm -hmm. other night. The state trooper said, hey, since you're up here, you want to just start with the other guy, because we had this scene under control. Mm -hmm. So we followed him down, checked the area. Mm -hmm. Now we, it came in as exit 58. We went all the way down to 56, turned around and came all the way back up checking both sides of the highway there were no cars off the road or anything like that it's a good feature if you are in an accident and can't call yeah but if you're not able to find your phone to cancel that it creates you know what i mean a new call for us thank you any other questions on the assistant chief's activity report okay all right we will go back up to the financial statements number six Sure. So, lines to keep, uh, we're, we're good so far, but once again, the lines to keep, we'll keep an eye on is the building line. Uh, as you know, last year we had some heating issues, and we may have a few more of them this year. Uh, going on with that is also we'll keep an eye on the uh, natural gas line, uh, make sure we're going to be in line with that, and I think that's going to see what we have going on with the building heating system here. Um, the other line that we're going to keep an eye on is, as we all know, is the electric for the buildings. Um, so we all see that public service charge on our bills last month. Our public service charge here was almost third, or right around $1,300 like we talked about. And I'm assuming it's going to be that way moving forward. It might drop a little bit since we're not using the AC as much, but we're still going to have those bills. And I mean, based on that, even if we're running roughly a thousand dollars a month, we're looking at an additional twelve thousand a year. So um, they're trying to figure out how it's going to try to figure out what the next move is and how to fund.
fund the uh, fund this in the other departments because everybody's in the same boat. So as we look at electric building natural gas at 90 and 89, have you allocated what you expect? We have. So we pull uh, blanket POs for those. So as the bills come in, we uh, we go with, we charge against those open POs. Okay. So at this point, what's budgeted? What's budgeted right now? We're still okay, but coming toward the end of the year, we might run short. Okay. And but so it's something I think you guys need to be aware of. So it doesn't. I'm not coming to you in one month and saying. We're running out of money now, but so basically anything that's up over twenty five percent at this point, three months into the fiscal year. A lot year. of them are both for like POs, open POs. Uh, it doesn't mean that we spend everything. Uh, what you can see is, if you look at that, it's going to say year to date expended. That's what we've uh, spent so far. Anybody have any question on those particular items or the financial report? Fiscal year is July. July June, 1. July 1 June. through June 30. Yeah. Okay, everybody set. Okay, fire chief's report. Okay, so the trucks are going out. Um, for their PMs, preventative maintenance, uh, we're in the process of doing all that. Uh, the tires are getting replaced very soon. They're going to be up on that seven year cycle. Uh, so the tower needs to be completely replaced, all the towers. All the tires on the tower need to be replaced uh, right now. So that's going to happen in the next couple weeks. Um, we have one guy, one firefighter and firefighter two right now. We're gonna have one, possibly two firefighters in firefighter one starting in January, which is good. Mm -hmm. Those are both good things. Um, we, did some, we did a water drill this past month and there is a tanker drill, which we're gonna see if we can participate in tomorrow night up in Bethany. Mm -hmm. It's a tanker shuttle drill with the tankers that we have. And that what we do is we show how how fast we can flow X amount of gallons of water and how many tankers we would need to, to maintain that uh, flow rate. So have we lost any firefighters? We have not recently lost any firefighters, but we might in the very near future based on work So just to let you know, Nick, um, and update anyone, we basically just started trying to keep our fingers on the pulse of volunteer situation. You know, there are a lot of people leaving and we're not able to get new volunteers. And, um, you know, we passed the volunteer incentive um, or changed that recently. and. So we're just kind of keeping our eye on it to see if there's something else that we should be doing in that regard. Okay. Um, another thing is we're doing truck or treat uh, again. We're having a good showing so far of truck or treat, uh, meaning uh, selling trucks and um, sponsorships and everything else. So if anybody's looking to sponsor a truck, sponsor for a truck or treat, we have forms. Here, um, sometimes the commission does a uh, sponsor. So yes, I'll we did talk about that. Guys. So yeah, let's talk about that at the end for okay. everybody. Um, so truck or treat, um, the money for truck or treat is obviously going to go fund part of the building out back, the storage facility out back. So it's a good fundraiser to put some money for the building out back. And it's, a great and it's going to be on Meeting House. It's going to be on Meeting House Lane on Thursday, October 31st from 5 p.m. to 8 p.m. We're going to have a ton of candy like we normally do. The trucks will all be decorated. Uh, we're going to have some. We're going to have some food out there, and we will at 
at this point, this is that's what we're doing. Sounds great. Thank you for everybody's hard work and planning that goes into that. It's obviously a wonderful event for our town. So if you guys would like to hear a kid yell on the truck. Everybody all in favor? Aye. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Um, I can stay on that late. <laughs> yeah, that's all I have right now. You take the five to seven shift. <laughs> I'll take the one shift. <laughs> And yeah, early it's... voting too. So yes, yes, they're planning for that. Mm -hmm. You can leave your kids with the firefighters. Yeah. Good. Anything else? That's all I have right now. Okay. Any questions? Okay, fire marshal's report. Forty-one inspections. We're getting ready for. Fire Prevention Week, uh, first week of October. So we're, we're starting to, well, I call it Beecher today because they they take two days. So I'm waiting for them to pick first before we talk to all the daycares and preschools. Nice. And usually Nate, I, and Anthony are out there around at least three days a week for probably the month of October to accommodate everybody. We see about a thousand kids wow. every year. That's amazing. It's wonderful. And they love it. They like the fire truck. They just want to sit in it. It's the Scott Father's truth. They want the helmets, they want the pencils, and they want to sit in the fire truck. They don't care what I have to say. Well, something might flip it. You it might. Know. It might, because, you know, you ask them, what happens when, the, what's, I have a smoke detector. What's that? Every class, somebody says, Mommy's cooking. Yeah. <laughs> Swear to God. Where you got every class somebody says mommy's cooking. Yeah. That's what my dog says. My dog, as soon as I start cooking, my dog thinks the smoke detector and, uh, is going to go off. I was subpoenaed for a fire we had in 2021. Uh, a car was used in a murder in Bridgeport, and they drove it here and burned it. And I testified in March on it, and it was a hung jury. I got subpoenaed today for the 26th of this month to go wow. back. I guess they made him two offers, and he refused. Wow. So he's going back to trial. Wow, never-ending saga. Yeah. Joe, anything on the um, daycare center across the street as far as? I haven't heard a word. There is a new one going in in uh, Jim Urbano's building on Research Drive. Oh, really? Uh, they have a, the water, uh, water main is going in tomorrow. The RWA is supposed to bring the water main up to the curb line. Mm -hmm. And then Jim's guy's coming in either late this week or early next week to bring it to the building. And by then, I should have the sprinkler plants or sprinkler in the building. Talking about where Saloon is, is that the no, no. Oh, no, 11 Research oh. in, oh, in research. the industrial Got park it. on the on the left there. There's a, uh, I don't know if it's a gymnastics place in there. You can used to be in there. I don't know. Okay. The protein drink there. I think they moved. But, um, I think there was a lawyer's office where they're going. At one time, that was an attorney's office, but they moved out. She wants to put 60 kids in there or something. So it has to be sprinkler, and she's doing it. I spoke to Jim this morning about it. And the JCC up there is? JCC is getting the Bethany daycare kids in their room, and we had to change their license uh, to accommodate more children. So that was the uh, first thing this morning I did that. So things are looking up. I mean, it's busy. Mm -hmm. I mean, the plan reviews are slowing down, but I figure they'll pick up again mm -hmm. in the fall. So. Good. Anybody have any questions on the fire marshal's report? Thank you. Okay, I don't believe we have any correspondence, right? I'd like to here. Okay. Any old business? New business. Next meeting date, October. Okay. I just yeah. wanted to mention sure. um, to most, I'm going to the various commissions when I meet with them and let them know. November 13th is the normal day for our Board of Selectmen meeting. We're actually thinking of having a all, all hands on, on meeting for commissions as well, where all commissions will be attending, probably happening with Kim, as it should be ready by then. And um, so we'll probably be at 7 o'clock type thing. So if uh, commissions at you know, you have to notice it, yeah, because it, it'll be, all the members will be there, or as many as you can get. So it's one of those things, if you want to have a meeting before, instead of having it when you usually have it or something, we can make arrangements for that. But I did want to just uh, let everyone know 
that we're looking for that on uh, at seven o'clock on November thirteenth, Wednesday, November thirteenth. Excellent. Thank you. And thank you for coming. Oh, you're welcome. Okay. So the next item on our agenda is our executive session discussion regarding dispatch training. So I would first of all say um, that usually we will just adjourn after that. So everyone who's not going to be in the executive session is free to go. And um, we'll report the um, I would ask for a motion to go in executive session um, with the commissioners inviting in Chief Rowland. I'll make a motion. Do I have a second? I'll second. Thanks, Rich. Any discussion? <coughs> All in favor? Aye. Aye. Any opposed or abstaining? Okay, motion passes and we are in executive session.